Hello and welcome. I'm Saeed from StoryPlanet.net. Dive right into the essence of the most captivating books without reading them cover to cover. Whether you're on the go, at the gym, or just relaxing at home, we offer you a unique and enriching listening experience. Today, we are exploring the book, Primary Greatness, a creation by Stephen Covey. Primary Greatness, 2015, argues that leading a fulfilling life is within reach for everyone. It entails prioritizing the truly significant aspects instead of solely striving for status, fame, and wealth. True success lies in nurturing your inner character, which can be achieved through the utilization of the 12 levers of success. Before we delve into these revelations, it's interesting to note that Stephen Covey, the author of the globally successful book The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, has sold more than 25 million copies worldwide. He has been honored by Time magazine as one of the 25 most influential Americans due to his contributions to business and education. With nine, K. Edias to unveil, brace yourself for a deep dive into this captivating book on StoryPlanet.net. To start, achieve a lasting success by focusing on what truly matters to you. Avoid chasing short-term gains and instead pursue goals that align with your personal values and passions. By prioritizing long-term fulfillment over immediate gratification, you can find sustainable success that will bring you lasting happiness and meaning. The text discusses how we often mistake material symbols for success, but real success is an inner quality that can be built by focusing on the 12 levers of success. It emphasizes the importance of listening to the advice of Stephen Covey and provides insights on the significance of importance over urgency, finding purpose, and imagining the worst. Key idea number one. Developing inner character is crucial for achieving true success. Success is not defined by material possessions, such as fancy clothes or expensive cars, but rather by qualities like integrity, honor, persistence, and selflessness. True success comes from within and leads to fulfillment and inner peace. Secondary greatness, on the other hand, is the appearance of success and is focused on external status symbols. Developing primary greatness is possible through the cultivation of admirable qualities, as proven by a study on inner-city preschoolers. The 12 levers of success are integrity, contribution, priority, personal sacrifice, service, reciprocity, diversity, responsibility, loyalty, learning, teaching, and renewal. These principles serve as the foundation for primary greatness. Key idea number two, self-affirmations and an abundance mindset are important for achieving primary greatness. The text discusses techniques for acquiring primary greatness, such as using self-affirmations and shifting from a scarcity mindset to an abundance mindset. Self-affirmations involve positive messages delivered from yourself to yourself in the first person and present tense. Relaxation and daily recitation of affirmations can increase their effectiveness. Shifting to an abundance mindset allows for cooperation and shared benefit, rather than a win-lose mentality. This can lead to increased success and positive outcomes in various areas of life. Key idea number three. Integrity is the core principle of primary greatness, ensuring that your values, beliefs, and actions are in harmony. Integrity is a combination of humility and courage. It requires recognizing areas for improvement and taking action to make those improvements. An example of integrity in action is when a friend apologizes sincerely after realizing their mistake. Having integrity positively affects those around you and aligns your values, beliefs and actions, making you more trustworthy and authentic. Walking the talk becomes natural when you have congruence between your actions and your beliefs. Key idea number four. Discovering your purpose is essential for fostering contribution and prioritization. Purpose gives life meaning and direction, but only a small percentage of people define their purpose. To identify your purpose, Ask yourself what the world needs, what you excel at, and how you can contribute doing something you enjoy. Sometimes our purpose is right in front of us, and we need to be open to recognizing it. Once you know your purpose, prioritize important non-urgent tasks over urgent but non-important tasks. 
having a higher purpose naturally leads to prioritization. Key idea number five, personal connections are important for success and sacrifice and service are effective ways of building these connections. The text highlights the importance of sacrificing one's ego and practicing service in order to form meaningful and productive relationships. Sacrifice involves putting aside one's ego and focusing on the greater good, emphasizing collaborative work and humility. Service entails doing things for others, strengthening relationships and creating lasting bonds. By addressing others individually and engaging with them, we effectively serve them and foster engagement. Overall, sacrificing ego and practicing service can lead to stronger connections and re-engagement. Key idea number six, reciprocity and diversity lead to productive relationships. One of the keys to building productive relationships is to have a strong sense of self-assurance. This allows for openness to new ideas and empathy, which are crucial for reciprocal relationships. Building a strong social bond and keeping communication open are important for reciprocity. Self-assurance also plays a role in embracing diversity, which leads to innovation and positivity. Encouraging diverse opinions and expressing oneself openly is necessary to foster creativity and innovation within a team. Key idea number seven, the text suggests that in order to stay accountable, one should utilize the levers of loyalty and responsibility. The text discusses the importance of loyalty and responsibility in interpersonal relationships. Loyalty is described as holding back from disrespecting others even when they are absent. It emphasizes the harmful effects of negative interactions and labeling. The text advises against saying anything about someone that you wouldn't say to their face and encourages speaking up for the voiceless. Responsibility is also highlighted as the key to moving past mistakes, including fully acknowledging them and offering a sincere apology without excuses or defensiveness. Actions should align with the apology, demonstrating sincerity. Key idea number eight, teaching and learning. Go hand in hand and support each other. Continuing to learn is essential to staying relevant and successful. Horst Schulze, Co-founder of Ritz-Carlton emphasizes the importance of daily training for employees to foster growth and success. On a personal level, creating a personal curriculum and reading industry publications, academic journals and classics can broaden knowledge. Utilizing online resources like TED Talks, MOOCs and Khan Academy can also aid in learning. Teaching others is an effective method of learning due to the necessity of understanding and explaining the material. Key idea number nine. To achieve renewal, it's important to balance your physical, mental, and social health. The twelfth lever of primary greatness is renewal, which involves taking care of oneself through the balance of mental, physical, and social health. Imagining hypothetical health crises and professional obsolescence can motivate changes in unhealthy habits and prioritize learning and skill advancement. Social health can be maintained by considering the impact of one's words on others. A holistic approach to self-care is important, as neglecting one area can have negative effects on other aspects of life. Taking care of oneself is key to living a fulfilled and peaceful life. In conclusion, the key message is that a life centered on connecting with and serving others is more fulfilling than pursuing self-serving pleasures. The book outlines 12 levers of success, such as integrity and contribution, to help achieve primary greatness. The actionable advice is to keep a journal to track progress and self-reflection. Further reading recommended is The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People by Stephen R. Covey. Thank you for listening to this summary. If you enjoyed this exploration, we invite you to discover other fascinating books on storyplanet.net. Don't wait any longer. A multitude of books, stories and knowledge await you there. See you soon on storyplanet.net.